Due to recent events, we feel that this would be a good time to talk about some safety. And safety in terms of how to get out of your Tesla in case the car basically loses power. And this doesn't really just apply to Teslas. This is a lot of new cars because a lot of them are moving to electric switches. It's just easier and it allows car manufacturers to do a lot more, such as being able to access it remotely, etc. But in doing so, it's not as easily known, I would say, how to get out of a car in case it loses power. Well, basically you need to read the owner's manual. When you take delivery of your car, you need to read the manual. Yeah, and there's certain things that you should know and to do that, you need to read that. Nice thing with Tesla's, it's all in that center screen. And so every single model, you can actually access it right then and there and know your safety information. But we're gonna go ahead and walk you through Model S, X, 3, and Y. Luckily, we are able to borrow a friend's Model X and show you exactly how to get out of every single model, front and rear seats, in case of an emergency, should you need it. Because you might always not be in the driver's seat. There are several other seats that you could potentially be in, and it's a good idea to know that because not all Teslas have manual releases. It's something you might want to discuss with your passengers as well. Yeah, or even your kids, because in a worst case scenario, if you as a driver are incapacitated or whatever, they should really know how to do this in case of emergency. In the unlikely situation that Model Y has no power, these door buttons will no longer work. Instead, pull the manual door release located at the front window switches on the front doors, which is right there. To open the front door when the Model Y has no power, pull up on the manual door release located in front of the window switches. Only front doors are equipped with manual door release. So normally you will just use the door button, electrical, but in case of a power outage, there's this right here, and you can pull that. And that is the manual door release. Now it will say on your screen that it may cause damage to window trim. So one thing you want to be careful for is when you do close it again, that the window has dropped. So I like to close it from the outside to make sure that the window has dropped enough so it won't scratch your door trim. That's why you don't really want people to be using these. You want passengers to be using these unless you can't. So depending on when you got your Model Y, it may or may not have laminated glass for the front windows. However, in the rear windows, they still do not have laminated glass because the rear seats in the Model Y don't have a manual release like in the front seats. And as we touched upon in a previous video, that's so that it's easier to break the glass in case of an emergency. Now, if your car doesn't have power, you can use something like this, which is an emergency glass hammer, which you can bang against the window and it will cause that rear window to instantly shatter. Now if you try that in laminated glass, it's going to crack the glass but it won't shatter out so you're gonna have to like either kick or pull the glass in. So actually while doing research for the Model Y, I actually came across this part of an older manual. It's actually not in the current manual but it does show you can remove the mat from the map pocket in the door panel and use your fingernail or small flat bladed tool to open the plastic flap. And there's actually a mechanical release in there for the rear doors. It is weird though that this is no longer in the manual. I don't know why it was omitted or anything. I did check my Model Y and I actually do have this. However, I don't know if it has since been removed or why it's been omitted from the current manual. So here we are in the Model 3. Now the Model 3 and the Model Y share a lot of parts and actually it's the same way in the Model 3 and Y. However, years may vary depending on what they do in the future or whatnot. And again, your car may or may not have laminated glass on those front windows. Okay, here we are in my Model S. We're going to show you how to open the doors in the front seat for either the driver or the passenger. If there's a power outage, it works just the same as if there's not a power outage. You just pull the door handle. Wow. And let's go ahead and check the manual in the car and see how to open them for the rear doors. So in a Model S, the front doors will still work even in the case of a power outage. However, the rear doors will not and they will require you to use a different method to open them. In the rear seats of a Model S, the emergency door release is actually located between your legs. So you just bend down, feel around, and you can feel there's a little hole in the carpet right here. And there's a little tab. If you then pull the tab, that will... Set, okay. oh. Set off the alarm. Yeah, whoops. That's weird. That's okay.
If you're in the rear seats of a Model S and the regular door handles aren't working, perhaps due to a power outage, there's still a way to get out of the rear seats. Basically, you just need to feel around in between your legs and you'll find a hole in the carpet. You might need to pull down your floor mat if you have other all-weather floor mats. Reach around, you will be able to find a tab. And if you pull that tab, it will unlock the door. And as you can see, the door is now unlatched. So one thing we were wondering is if child protection lock is on, how does this feature work? Now we don't have loss of power right now, but we can at least kind of see. So go ahead and show that the door won't open. So basically because child protection lock is on, I can't get out. Okay, so now go ahead and pull that. Oh, okay, so that does override child protection, which is actually a good thing in case of emergency you need to still be able to get out. Yeah, and I think that would be really good. Basically, if you have little toddlers or something like that, they're gonna be in car seats. They're yeah. not gonna be able to reach that anyways. If you have a child that's old enough to know about this, they should be smart enough to know when to use that. If you're not able to use a regular door handle and you're not able to use the emergency release tab to open that door, you can still use something such as the emergency glass breakage hammer to hit the glass and if it's not laminated glass, it will totally shatter if it's tempered. If it is laminated glass, it should still crack the glass and then allow you to like kick the glass out or to pull it in. Now let's go see how to open the doors in a Model X. So with the power off in Model X, what you can actually do is just use the front door handle as normal. Those are actually a mechanical release, not electric. So even if you lose power, these will still work. It won't be an automatic open door on the X, but you will still be able to push it open. So in the back of the Model X, you have your normal door buttons right here, but these are electric. So if your car should lose power or you're in a situation where these buttons are not working for some reason, the mechanical release is down here behind the speaker grill. So right here, there's actually a little ledge along this side of the speaker grill. And what you can do is just pull that, get your fingers under there and pull it. And so I was careful removing this just so I don't break any clips, but in case of emergency, just rip it out. It's the least of your problems. But there's this right here, and this wire kind of has like a little metal ball on the end, and this is what you will take and pull forward to the front of the car, and that will actually be your mechanical release to open the door. And this is what it will look like. So the door's open, now it's heavy, but you can push it and it will kind of hold once it's open. Once you get it open enough though, you can see you could easily squeeze out if you needed to, but it's very heavy. And if you decide to try this at home um, to fix this, all you will do is take this panel right back and just push it on there. And then you can go ahead and hit this door button and it will re-engage the door. We've shown you that in the in case of an emergency, in the front seats of a Model S or X, you should still be able to use the regular door handles to always open the front doors. In case of an emergency, you might need to use a hammer on those front doors. Yeah. In the rear seats, there is a manual release in both the S and the X. Now they're located in different spots. On the S, it's gonna be between your legs under the seat, whereas on the Model X, it's going to be in the door behind the speaker grill. Now on Model Y and 3, you will actually have to use a different door release if you do lose power than your normal door button for the front doors. Now on the rear doors of 3 and Y, there is no other mechanical release and that is where those window hammers come into play. And one thing again to point out is this is with our cars from 2017, yeah. 2018, 2020. Be sure to read your owner's manual to see if any changes have been made on whether it's on older vehicles or on newer vehicles to, yet to come. One thing we haven't talked about yet is that in the S, the 3, the X, there is also the emergency release that would allow you to get out the trunk. Exactly. So in the Model 3, you would have to lower the seats first, and then you would be able to crawl back and find the emergency release tab, which would allow you to open the trunk. In the, the S, the X, you might be able to just crawl over the seats. If not, you could lower them and then reach back there for that tab to open up the rear hatch. So that's basically it for this one. We just wanted to make sure you guys know how to do it. And knowing is half the battle. It is. So just, it always is a good idea to know your safety measures, especially in vehicles before you really get into them. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your model S, X, 3, or Y, much like this one, definitely check them out. All linked down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Our two must have accessories are definitely gonna be a center console wrap, whether you have the gen one or gen two console. 
they have you covered and it really helps protect that center console as well as make your car your own as well as a matte screen protector really helps cut down any glare from the sun as well as protect your screen from any fingerprints thanks to its oleophobic surface but that's it hopefully you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one bye